Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jamie. If you're new, today's video we are going to be doing a flip through of the Good and the Beautiful's Mammals Science Unit. So I'm going to be going through the whole unit with you guys. I'm also going to be sharing some of the books that you can read alongside the unit when you're studying it uh, that the Good and the Beautiful offer. Today's video is also in collaboration with my good friend Ashley over at Grace and Grit. Ashley is such a dear friend of mine. I probably talked to Ashley, I don't know. If not every day, then every other day. Um, she is just someone that I absolutely love. Her personality uh, is a lot like my own, and so we just, we get along really well. And the love and the passion that she has for homeschooling her children is so encouraging to me. I really look up to her a lot. So she is another Good and the Beautiful homeschooling mama, and she is going to be sharing the book studies that the Good and the Beautiful offer. So that's gonna be a really fun flip through to go watch, so I will have her video linked down below for you guys so you can go watch her video once you're finished watching this. If you are not subscribed to Ashley for some crazy reason, then definitely subscribe while you're over there. You can watch her videos and I, she's got one of those channels that you will just like binge. You will sit and all of a sudden you're realizing that it's two in the morning, you're folding laundry and you're still watching Ashley's videos. So definitely go ahead and go over there and subscribe to her. If you are new to my channel from Ashley's, welcome. Like I said, my name's Jamie. I am a home schooling mom of four, soon to be five, and my kids are on the younger side. They range from two up to seven, and I'm due with number five this October. <laughs> so it's so good to have you guys today and to do this collab with Ashley. I hope that you enjoy this flip through. If you guys have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to comment down below. Thanks so much for joining me, and let's go ahead and jump right in. Today's video is sponsored by The Good and the Beautiful. I am always so happy to partner with them on videos and blessed to be able to work with them here on my channel. So as you can see, I've already taken apart the unit and I put it in a three ring binder. <laughs> Mine has a fancy label on the side that says mammals. Um, but this is a K through eight science unit study. Most, if not all of the science units are K through eight. And just like every other curriculum, if you have a younger student that you're wanting to do things with, you can um, pick and choose out of each of the lessons how you wanna accommodate your child and what you feel like is gonna be best. One thing that I really enjoy about this science units I appreciate that they offer is that if, if you open up you'll notice that each of these lessons offer a, um, a lesson extension for grade 7 through 8 so if I were to turn to the very first let's see the very first lesson let's go through all of these wonderful vocabulary words we will get to those in a minute um, at the end of lesson one you will see, once we finish it up, it's going to show me a lesson extension. So this is lesson one, grade seven through eight extension. And this just offers more of an in-depth look into the lesson. So if you are teaching multiple ages, this is something that you're gonna be able to do with an older student, um, which I think is just really awesome because it just helps you to continue to go deeper and um, just really acclimate it for wherever your child is at, however old they are. So opening up to the lesson, you will see the table of contents. Um, this specific unit study has 14 lessons. The unit starts off with the first four lessons, really going into the specifications of mammals, what is a mammal, what makes a mammal a mammal, and the information about mammals as a whole. And then as you get to lesson five through lesson 14, it's gonna go more in depth about specific mammals from elephants, canines, rodents, and then a whole lesson dedicated specifically to endangered mammals. So every science unit that you get from the good and the beautiful is going to start in the very beginning with information on the unit, um, possible read aloud optional books that you would like or correlated books that the good and the beautiful offer that you can get separately and kind of just read along to further your learning and knowledge and the experience in this lesson. It's also going to talk about supplies needed and then also vocabulary. It's going to give me the unit information. It's going to tell me different things that I'm going to have in this unit 
it that are gonna make it an, an easier, more enjoyable experience for my children. You can create a science wall where you can put your vocabulary words on it, something visual for your children to see. Each of these science units offer activities for a science journal. So you can get your children a three ring binder and create their own science journals. It's also gonna talk to you about lesson preparation. The good and the beautiful is science units are super easy to follow. Um, in the beginning of each lesson, it's gonna explain to you if you need any material supplies, Something that I really like to do in the very beginning uh, when I'm planning out my lessons is to gather all of the supplies that I need for the entire unit and keep it all in a box. So go to your local store, order stuff offline, and just get whatever you need so that you have it. So every week as you are planning for your homeschool week, you can just gather the supplies that you need and you already know that you have them in your house. The science lessons have mini books that you'll wanna cut out. And of course, in the very beginning, of the lesson it will tell you when you need specific mini books so you can just pull those out and have those ready the mammals unit also does have a world map and a sticker activity so this is super fun it's a giant map <laughs> that you can put up and each of the lessons have um, different uh, stickers and the stickers are going to go in specific places on the world map some of the lessons also have videos that the good and the beautiful have created so having some kind of computer or or device that you can watch the videos on is gonna be a good idea as well. So this is where it's gonna tell us the optional read aloud book packs that you have. The first one that it gives us is Can You Track It Mammals? So this is a super, super fun book. It goes through the different animal tracks that mammals have. And so they're learning about um, what different animal tracks look like. So in this one it says, what mammal crossed the stream? It's gonna give you facts and information about the animal. And then when you turn it, it's gonna tell you a bobcat left those tracks and signs. So as you go through here, you will see that these all have different mammals, information about the mammals, their tracks. A raccoon got into the garbage. How fun is this? So it's kind of like a, a look and find book. Um, they're using their mind, and then as they're going through this book over and over again, they're learning to really recognize the tracks. So if you are living in a place where maybe you get lots of different seasons and you get to experience the winter, this will be really fun to do this winter. I feel like the mammals unit's a really good fall winter unit to do because you can really learn about different tracks and then you can go out and actually try to find them. So this is the mammals can you track it book. The next book that it um, is an optional read aloud book that you can have is the Marvelous Mammals from Down Under. So this of course is going to go over some really fun mammals in Australia and Down Under. Uh, I think this has the Tasmanian Devil in it as I'm seeing Tasmania here. But how fun is this? Look at these pictures you guys. Australia from space, the Outback, how beautiful. I've always wanted to travel to Australia. Have you guys, if you have, or if you've been there, comment down below and let me know about your experience. So we're gonna talk about kangaroos. How cute is that? Look at that little baby with the mama. Oh my gosh. Have you guys ever seen kangaroos in real life? I feel like I've seen them at the zoo, but I would love to go to Australia and see them in real life in their real habitat in the wild. Looks like they're fighting there. They're in a little boxing match. So this is all about kangaroos. This is wallaroos and wallabies. I always wanna say wallabies. Wallaroos and wallabies. How fun. I know I've got some Australian subscribers, so uh, <laughs> don't judge me on my accent. I know it's so poor. Look at those cute coastal koalas. So this is just gonna be really fun. The pictures are beautiful. There's lots of facts about these animals. Look at how cool that is. The koalas paws, they're gonna see exactly how they're, what they look like. This is their hind paw, their front paw. Look at the difference of those two paws, you guys. Very, very cool. Possums and wombats. So this is Mammals Down Under, and this'll be, this'll be a really fun one I feel like to go through. So this actually 
There's another book that you can get, Mammals of Small Pond, that is offered through The Good and the Beautiful. And I also have Prairie Dog Town as well. So I think both of these are gonna be really good read aloud books that'll be fun. So if you are doing the Mammals um, unit study and you're wanting to incorporate some kind of read aloud book, these are some really good options. While we're talking about this, I wanna give an honorable mention <laughs> to the Good and the Beautiful's Four Littles at Mammals set that they have. This set is super fun. They offer the Large Mammals Flip Book. And if you're familiar with their Primer K or Pre-K, they offer the Vocat, the ABC Flip Books. And so they get to flip through and figure out where, what, what body parts go with different mammals. So they have one for large mammals and then they also have one for small mammals. They also have these What Can You Do Kangaroo books. This is really fun. This is a kind of like an, an informational book all about mammals, but it makes it really fun for those younger readers. I have a two-year-old that can sometimes feel like she's lost in the midst of all of our learning. So this is something that you can pull out and read with your littler ones just to feel like they're also getting some information that's really um, kind of dialed down and more fun just for specific, specifically for them. This last one is I Can Spy Mammals and Nature. This is also for littles. And this is a really fun like I spy kind of book. It gives you images to find and then they can point and look and see. My kids love these kinds of books, you guys. They're so fun. We just sit on the couch and we can go through them together and find them. Sometimes I don't even know where they're at and they find them for me. So this is another one as well. So I just wanted to give you guys an honorable mention to the Four Littles Mammals set because that is super fun. So aside from just these optional read aloud books, they also offer these as well. This is the supplies needed section. This is located in the beginning of the unit. Uh, just like every science unit from the Good and the Beautiful, they always offer these. So they make it super, super easy for you to be able to plan ahead to know what you're gonna need in each lesson. So moving on to the vocabulary. These are vocabulary words that you can cut out and you can put on your science wall. All of these are vocabulary words for the mammals unit, things that they're going to be learning in each lesson. So they're not gonna learn all of this at one time, but they definitely will be learning these words as they go through the lessons. This is an introduction to mammals. Children will be introduced to the unit review classification, learn mammalian characteristics, and explore food chains. So they are going to learn about different kinds of animals and specifically what is a mammal. There is a video in this lesson as well as some vocabulary words that the kids are going to learn. The Good and Beautiful offers a Kingdoms and Classifications unit and you learn about um, Carl Linnaeus and his methods for organizing life forms and so this will be the same kind of method that you'll use so you can um, uh, learn about just organizing different classifications for animals um, so kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species so you'll write these on the whiteboard and you'll be amazed at how fast your kids will pick up on that and be able to memorize those things. Look at this artwork, you guys. One thing, if you are familiar with The Good and the Beautiful, you know they always incorporate beautiful art into their lessons, and it's no different in science. And then as we see at the end of this, this is the grade seven through eight extension, talking more in depth about that lesson. Lesson two is live birth and lactation. As you can see, it's the same kind of thing. You'll notice that there's a lot of discussions and games in here as well to really engage the student um, and make it so that you're not, it's not the same thing every single week. It's a similar format, so they're gonna know what to expect, but it's always really exciting because it's always very different. Lots of fun pictures, vocabulary words. They're learning all about uh, lactation and live birth in here, as you can see. And so all the things that come along with that, like an elephant, how neat is that? You see that little baby elephant inside of that mama, how long each mammal, um, the gestation period for them uh, is. Primates and hippos, it's amazing milk activities. Very cool. So you're gonna you're gonna simulate milking a cow, bursting milk, 
Very, very cool. This would be a really fun one to turn into a field trip and go to a farm and be able to milk actual animals and, and see cows and stuff in person. Lesson three. <laughs> oh man, let's try to write, let's try to say this out loud r correctly. Ad toad ungulates. Ungulates. All right, do you know how to say it? Maybe it'll tell us how to say it here. Let's see. My Ungulates booklet. You guys, how do we say this word? Ungulates means mammals with hooves. How do you pronounce it? All right, the million dollar question, you guys. <laughs> how do you say it? Put in the comments below the correct way to pronounce Ungulates. Ungulates, ungulates. All right, let me know you guys. <laughs> we clearly have not done this yet. This is for this fall for us, so I'm really excited. And by the time we start this fall, hopefully I will know <laughs> how to pronounce that because you guys have helped me. This is a really fun lesson. I remember looking over this because it is talking about being able to run and sprint uh, going long distances. So I think this one has actually a really fun activity. As you can see, you're gonna time your children's running and their distance. Um, so it really does bring it to life. So this is gonna be a fun lesson to do. You're gonna learn all about that. And then of course, Mammals of the World map and, it, and sticker activity. Here are some fact cards that you're gonna cut out for this one. Here it is again, here's even toad. So we did odd toad. Here's the even toed ones. So as you can see, these lessons are really going over the specifics of different mammals. What makes mammals mammals and the breakdown of those individual distinctives. There's the extension. This is talking more about their digestive systems. Very cool. And then we're getting into the lessons where it's going specifically into detail about specific mammals. So I'm not gonna spend too much time going into these, but I will briefly show you guys different lessons that they do have for each, for each mammal. So this one is elephants. Those pictures, you guys, so beautiful. Oh, I love that picture. So beautiful. Different species of elephants. All right, and then we're gonna move into primates during lesson six. The difference in our makeup of our skull. The Good and the Beautiful's science unit do follow a creation way of thinking and way of science because it is a, um, a God-based curriculum. They do recognize that God is the creator. So you will see that it is creation-based and is not based um, on evolution or anything like that. Oh my goodness, how cute are those monkeys? So as you can see, there is some scripture right here, Genesis 1, 26 through 27 talking about um, when God created everything in the very beginning. He created the animals and then also man. Next, we're gonna go into felines, all the different kinds of cats. <laughs> From beautiful big cats out in the wild to your little cat, Felix at home. Very cool. So coming off of felines, we couldn't just do felines and not talk about canines, right guys? So we are going into canines in lesson eight and kind of going over the same kind of idea that they did for felines. You're gonna talk about what a group of them is called, a pack, going into detail about dominant and submissive traits in canines. Very, very cool. Look at those pictures, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful dogs. Moving on to lesson nine, monotremes, I believe. Man, there's just lots of vocabulary words. <laughs> In this unit, we will, we will know all the terms for mammals once we finish this. Oh, this is cool. So this is a, looks like this is a little poem. Yes, a poem. Old Man Platypus by A.B. Banjo Patterson. Very cool. 
So as you can see, the Good and the Beautiful really they just incorporate so many cool things into each of their units. From poetry to photography, you'll see scripture verses in here. You will see games, beautiful artwork. I mean, I really just value that they value putting so much beauty into learning. It's not just like you're opening up a textbook and here's your information, <laughs> here's a photo, and then you're moving on. No, there is so much beautiful, just in-depth learning going on. So as you'll go through, you'll definitely be able to see that. Lesson 10 is marsupials. So you're gonna learn about koalas. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that painting. <laughs> That is beautiful. It's a map of Australia. This will be the time when the mammals down under will be really beneficial to be able to open up and read. Lesson 11, you're gonna go into bats. That will be a fun lesson. <laughs> I think my boys are really gonna enjoy that one. Different kinds of bats. The different body parts of a bat. And then here's the answer key. So as you go through these, <laughs> moms, we don't have to have everything memorized. Praise the Lord for answer keys, right? So there always are answer keys so that if we need a little bit of help, we've got that too. Lesson 12, we're gonna go into rodents. The opening activity as you see here is art and poetry. So that is super fun. Looks like a poem about the field mouse. My grandparents had a farm growing up and so all of the rodents <laughs> and mice and field mice and all of those kinds of things that we saw in the barn on the farm were plenty. There was no shortage <laughs> of rodents flying around which is why there was no shortage of barn cats, right? Look at that sweet photo. Here is the grade 7 through 8 extension. These are animals that are not rodents, that you might think are rodents, but are not. All right, so lesson 13, bears. This is the last specific animal lesson, and you're gonna learn all about different kinds of bears. Look at that pretty picture, how beautiful. That is some beautiful artwork. This is gonna go into detail about different kinds of bears. And then lesson 14, we're gonna go into endangered animals. So this will be cool too, because this will be a really great opportunity to talk to children about just the importance of protecting species and taking care and cultivating what the Lord has given us, being good stewards of it, and appreciating these animals. All right guys, so this is the Mammals Science Unit Study from The Good and the Beautiful. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, everything will be linked down below for you guys so you can go check it out for yourself. But I hope this flip through is informational for you and enjoyable. Don't forget to go check out Ashley's channel. I will have it linked down below. Her video is all about the book studies that they offer through The Good and the Beautiful. So that will be really neat to find out what books they offer book studies on and that will just get us all super excited to continue to ignite that fire in our kids for a love for reading and a love for learning. So thank you again so much for watching today. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe down below. Today's video is sponsored by The Good and the Beautiful, so big thank you to them for partnering with me on today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.